Come on, fan. Do your stuff. Alright, so now, now we're up here, so that's good. Um... If I turn this off... Does that do anything? We made it! Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. He must be around here somewhere, preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time, let's try to find him fast. I'm gonna make good make sure he understands what happens to people who point guns at others. There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. Does he have anything on him that lets me... I think I was supposed to hop in that bike. Uh, let me go back from there. I don't know how far this takes me back. Further than I would have liked. Alright, um... Let's close that. Let's pop up here. Come on. Turn on the one- I think I have to hop on that bike as he drives by. I'm fairly positive. It's fairly positive. Four minutes in anime time, definitely. What if I <laughs> That's probably why you have that weird taste in your mouth, most definitely. Um, so I guess. Alright, um. So you go by really quickly. Um. So I have to time this really, really right. Let me on! Alright, so we're on the bike now, so that's something. Um, so there's the dude. That's the dude. Alright. I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be the head of the Hitman division by next month for sure now. There he is, the horrible Hitman. I think his name is actually Tengo, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting fast. Alright, let's... Friggin' we're going to actually I wanna trick this. And then we're gonna blind them. So why not? There, we put a stop to that shot at least. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? Well, they changed their fate a little, but it didn't convert it completely. We're not done yet. The hitman is a professional and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here there is is really gonna stop him. You wanna rough him up a bit, I promise I won't report it. Let's think of something else before he gets shot in. Gets a shot in. I hope we can squish this guy. Because we squished the last one. He was like super pancaked, it was great, so. Um if we pedal, does that do anything? No, it doesn't. Um and this doesn't do anything. If I close this, lose the bike. Does the bike do anything? The bike doesn't do anything. Alright. Um. Hmm. So the bike actually doesn't do anything when I pedal it. Alright, so he's down there. If I want that position, I have to be careful even the little least bit of light. Division head is my ambition for this year. Next year my model will be if I want to be a director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year I'm gonna be I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. So I need to get over there and I don't know how. Because this bike won't move. I don't have any other place to go. Wait. He doesn't have- or does he have- he has- oh, he has a thing on him. Alright. So let's, um... Let me jump on your baton there, dude bro. Alright, so where do you- you stop here? Alright. So let's, uh, turn on this- 
Aha! How did you guys not see him? Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? It wasn't me, it went off all by itself. It scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay it off. Or, make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. So, one guy has beady eyes. This guy looks like Brock. With Brock's eyes. He has a weird nose, though. If things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately, but using too much power in sight. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Um, if I... Oops. I'll pop that on. That light goes out. Look at that, one of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity, so just another detective could see what he was doing the other day. I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlamp. Very sad tale indeed. It sounds like they're taking things way too far. Alright, so where does he come up now? This doesn't do any good, does it? Nothing happens. That's funny. I thought the lever would swing the crane arm around. I like to swing that horrible hitman around. Hmm, this crane. I wonder if there's some other way we can use it. I'm more or less worried about where this guy is, though. Is he coming back in that other spot? Doesn't seem to want to show me where he is. Oh, he is up there. Alright. Alright, so... Hmm. So that light goes out there. So I have to... I don't know where the last place is that he pops out though. Assuming he's back in this spot, here he is. Um, crap. Um, if I turn this on, get back in his baton. No, no, you gotta walk the other way, dude. You gotta walk the other way. No, don't walk all the way back here. Come on, dude. Dude. Let's turn this on. Alright, so the other one shouldn't have went out. So... The only other place he could be is over here. And I can't do anything with this lever. Alright, um... Wish my reach was a bit more. Where are you at now? Um... This is quite a distance from the target, but I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, sis, I'll get him. Hold up, when did I become her assistant? like squishing people. It's it's really great. That's the second person we've squished. Did you just hear a scream? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. I found a nice dark spot for a gloomy loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased again. Fate averted. Wasn't as good as the first squish. The first squish was the re with a wrecking ball, and the wrecking ball ran like rolled away. And he was just splattered over. It was really great. If you remember the comics of uh, Garfield with the spider, and every time he'd squish the spider, it would just be flat. That's like what it was, basically. Why not? I wonder. Huh? Why don't I have powers like you? 
If I could do things like you do, it would really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. It's powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Sissel, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, I got it. I was kidding. Well, I guess we'd better be getting back to the present. Lynn has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see what she's doing. that I can... Oh, didn't do anything. Alright, I need a guy to come back and get me. Or, no guys coming back to get me. Um... Alright. What if... Can I use the umbrella, I wonder? Does it really do anything? I don't think it will. Oh, okay, yeah, it does. Alright. Apparently it unhooks itself. I never could get into Gurren Logan. You were disappointed with Fate Stay Night, but apparently Illumina Blade Works is supposed to be much better. That's weird. That's weird, dude. I enjoyed it a lot. Um. Wait. I asked you this last night which one was the non whatever one. Oh, okay. Fate Zero is the one that I liked, apparently. Well, looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. That woman holds the key, don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's probably alive again, she's probably still being detained in the super's office. The one I didn't like was the one with the young kids, the young dude who had all the girls living in his house. I didn't like that one. If that's Fate Stay Night, that's the one I didn't like. I liked the one that didn't revolve around, um, the guy living with all the chicks. Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I'd better go back to the super's office and see her. Now that sounds like a good idea. Uh, we're going to go... Super's office. Alright, Tao. Alright, we'll see you when you get back, dude. I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. Maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said that she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? We will save. Alright, so we're going to chapter 5, I think? Yeah. I think there's 17 chapters. I think. So we're doing pretty good. When Lynn lost her life for the second time, she was being detained on suspicion of my murder. But I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate, or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. I told you not to let the suspect out of your sight. My apologies, sir, but I never th thought she wouldn't run away. Lynn is our angel. I mean, friend. I mean, she's like a family to us. Angel, family, or friend, they all have run when they have the chance. Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? I'm very sorry, I have no idea, sir. You'll never make detective at that rate. Now find Lynn. Yes, sir. Uh, if Inspector Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. Um, basically, clips to catch you up. Uh, the spiky haired guy that I am is dead. I was found dead in the junkyard with Lynn, who is next to me. Um, I don't remember anything. I found out my name 
by finding the people who ordered my assassination and I found a file on me. Uh, they're trying to kill Lin, and they killed me, and I'm basically trying to find out how by keeping Lin alive. Um, so, if somebody dies, I have the powers to go back four minutes before their death and try and save them. Uh, so at this point, I'm just trying to figure out who I am, why I died, and who killed me. And that's about it. So, so a redhead detective escaped, did she? But just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Phew, she's fast. Well, I guess I'll look around for leads. We're gonna start whistling. Hopefully, maybe. I was hoping, maybe not. Maybe someday. No, all right. I'll make my own way over there, I guess. All right. What do you have to say, dude? That old pigeon man, do you suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all these preci precision instruments and complicated devices. What are you doing? Sir, I think maybe this is how Lynn escaped through here. She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. I don't know, sir. Lynn is pretty slim. Full. Don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. I'm very sorry, sir. I had no idea, sir. You'll never make detective at that rate. Anyway, where is that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir? He went through the door behind me, sir. Yeah, why wouldn't you think she just escaped the freaking door? Oh, because it's locked, I see. I see. It won't open. Apparently that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. His instruments, they're all very suspicious. You better keep your eye on that old man, too. Yes, sir. You'll never make detective at that rate. Alright, let's do trick time. Um, I need to make it over there somehow. Um, I have no idea what this instrument is for. As a matter of fact, this whole desk is filled with things I've never even seen. No, I've lost my memory, but still, the old pigeon man seems like a pretty strange guy. Alright, so... Hmm... These photos look pretty old. Pictures of little fragments of rocks. The old pigeon guy has a pretty strange taste in wall decor. So, I need to figure out... If I trick you over... There... What are you doing? I could swear I just saw this thing move. Don't tell me. Could it be? I sensed the tension between me and the detective, and it moved to get away from it? That was an unexpected tangent. I've never made detective at this rate. What I need is some sort of achievement. A feather in my cap. If only I could find a helpful lead. That might do the trick. A helpful and blindingly obvious lead is staring you in the face right now. I guess I can help this guy out for shits. Why not? Oh, I want you. I want to, I meant to go stroll over here. Yeah, check out the notebook. Huh? This is Lynn's notebook. If I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. Hmm. What to do? What to do? This is a very complicated matter. We're getting a little crowded over here. What have you got there? What this? Oh, uh, this is um. Wait a minute, is that? Y yes, sir. It's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, eh? Come to think of it, there was something about it that in the report. Something about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call. Man, you can't even like ask. Just gotta grab it. This must be it. This telephone number with the big circle around it. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? I am. I really am, sir. I'd like to know. Oh. But I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, sir. No, sir. This number might be an important lead. I'd better check it out. Alright, you do that. You do that. I want to get in on this phone call. 
I was gonna go down in the basement, but we'll do, we'll do the phone first, I guess. Let's find out who's coming. Got a jet? No problem, Eclipse. Not a problem, dude. Thanks for hanging out, eh? Thanks for hanging out. Hello? To whom am I speaking? Yes, hello. This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that you, De Detective McCall? Oh, is that Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You know you just call this late. Oh, uh, did you get a call from one of our Detective Lynn's earlier? From Lynn? Yes, I did. She calls every night. Maybe she sense senses it's about to happen. Did she say anything special? No, not really. Something wrong? Alright, uh, I'm probably gonna be around for like another hour or so, dude. Probably just another hour. I'll be switching over to Halo very shortly, so... Yes, well, ahem. I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. I might finish this chapter off and then, uh, go play Halo. Trace complete. So we now have... that number. We got a new number! Sweet! I think it's just the detective office. I'm gonna go follow the report down at the station. I need you to be vigilant here. Excuse me, detective, but... What is it? In that notebook, would you mind if I gave... Uh, never mind, sir. Hm, just stay on your toes. Alright, so he's leaving with the notebook. I want to get down here, I think. I think this is where I want to go. Maybe. I, I don't really know. I'm gonna try. We're gonna see what happens. Um... Alright, I can't do anything with the fan. Um... Just might be time to clean this room up, but with that, will that close the matter? Her parents here, of all places, and tonight, of all times, I hardly think it's a coincidence. Wish I could join, but I'm asleep. Have school on my own stream tomorrow, and like 10 minutes. No, that, don't worry about that, dude. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. There'll be plenty of time for us to play Halo sometime, so no worries. Um... I have no idea... How to get down anywhere? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna move, are you? Are you walking? Are you gonna walk? No, you're not walking. God damn it, dude! You should walk. I can't do anything. Um. There's like nothing over here. I can't get in that guy's baton. I feel like what I have to do is downstairs. This guy doesn't want to move, and I can't do anything. Um. That'd be great. This motor doesn't do anything either, does it? If I go back down to... If I go back down to the junkyard... Halo's really the only thing I play multiplayer like. Because even TF2, I only play competitive. So Halo would probably be the only thing. Unless something else randomly came up. Oh, I'm back again. Yeah, just checking to see if anything's new. Let me see. A moment ago, your corpse was taken away by the police. It was? Oh. I guess I'll never see my poor corpse again. Nothing is permanent. We lose everything in the end. There are some things we can get back, right, Ray? I suppose you are right. Alright, so I need to get up to the basement somehow. I think the thing is maybe it's not up there, maybe it's over more. Um, I don't suppose opening this and going over to Ray does anything. Hmm. 
least I'm not in hurry. If I open this, what happens? Nothing over here now, but there's nothing around here. So I guess what I have to do is in um other place. I guess we'll go back unless I go to that office. This number, whichever this number is. I stream every day, dude. I'm here every evening, so I'll probably see if you want to drop by. Thanks for hanging out, eh? Um, if you stream tomorrow, if I I don't know when you stream, but I'll try to b drop by on my lunch break if I can. I appreciate you hanging out, though. What was that call all about? I heard you say Lynn. Alright, this guy with the cards. I don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I'd probably say something's going on with her. <laughs> the only place in the world where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bailey. <laughs> Bailey, jeez. What was that supposed to mean? I mean, I know that the words mean. I know what the words mean, that's not what I'm asking. That was my way of expressing indignation, putting it in the form of a question. And I'm sitting there with his hands on his knees and his tippy toes. I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm not a fan of hers, you know. According to my log, Lynn has been calling here nearly every night as of late. So let's see. This is the place Lynn took all that risk to call, eh? But what exactly is this place? Um. Weird. Can't, like, make. Alright. Can these. Do these guys talk at all? Alright, you made a, a way for me, so that's good. I can't get over anywhere. Um, let's examine this monitor. It starts in like 17 hours, so 8pm your time, maybe earlier. I don't know when your time, and I'll be online for a while, but I can multitask during stream so I can learn. 17 hours your time. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to just check when you're on. Let's see, because I can't math right now. My brain hurts. Screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small, and you can see right into them from the outside. I suppose the open bars keep the room airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where th these little rooms are. Um. Alright. Hey, what's this? Oh, that? I wrote down my duties for the night so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head? It's not like you have a ton of duties after all. Use a little brain power. Bailey, calm your tits, dude. What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Hmm, didn't think you'd take it in quite that direction. Uh, emergency switch, goblet. Let's do this emergency switch. Oh, Bailey. It looks like he's ready for a fight. There you go again, fooling around with that thing. It wasn't me. Don't lie, you know you love to see me jump up and prepare for emergency. Well, yeah, sure, way back when I first got the job, but I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always re react exactly the same way. <laughs> the emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, it's for emergencies, don't play with it. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? He's ready for a fight, man. Close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are pain to you? What a sad state of affairs. Alright, um, so I can... 